I think usually when when people uh, haven't heard of me before and uh, they see me setting up on stage at a live show or something and they're like oh and I, they, they see me setting up and they're like oh great uh, another solo artist this is this is gonna suck and then they see how much how much noise comes out of me and my my setup and everything and the you know, I sound like a three or four piece band and I, I surprise them and I generally win them over like that. Um, also, uh, you know, I I try to stay away from the, the super cheesy uh, songwriting. I don't use uh, I, I don't use a lot of flowery language in my songwriting and stuff. You know, I try to write from the from the heart and I think of it kind of a small circle around the heart and that's that's it. And uh, I don't know. I think uh, people just uh, understand me as a human and they, they connect with that and I think that's what what's really helped me be uh, successful and you know winning over the hearts of Americans and French and Swiss. Rest your head you've been poisoned on your dying bed you know you'd lie to me baby yeah yeah I, I love it <laughs> yeah um have I uh, seen someone change uh from uh, not liking me to the end of the show, just uh, really embracing it. Yeah, some of the things I love the most is when someone's a real jerk at the beginning of a show and doesn't, you know, I'm trying to be nice to them and they couldn't, they couldn't care to, or they couldn't be bothered to talk to me or anything. And by the end of the night, they're kissing my butt. Uh, I love that. It makes me feel like I've, I've uh, accomplished something. Yeah, for sure. I've probably met a few people that liked me at the beginning of the night and didn't like me at the end of the night. I went to jail with this guy one time, or these five people, I, I, and I, I pretty much am the one reason that they went to jail. And uh, the guy at the beginning of the night was like, man, I just want to tell you I love your music, man. And the other, at the end of the night, he's like, uh, he, this, is an ex this isn't the exact words he said, but uh, he's just sitting there in the holding cell with me going, I hate you, Byram. <laughs> but we're friends again. You know? And it wasn't anything too bad that I did. It was just, you know, drunken uh, stupidity. <laughs> you know I harbor so many things No consequence to me Guess I was just another river That flowed into your sea uh, You know, I've always tried in my, in my records To, uh, to kind of show, showcase all the kinds of music that I can play Country, blues, punk, metal, um, uh, hillbilly And then my, my own... Uh, mix of all that together uh, and you know I did that again this time I've been recording my own records for most uh, most of my records I recorded myself and I've been I'm 37 now and I I've been uh, recording and reading about recording stuff uh, since I was 14 and each record it seems like I go up a level in my in my production skills so you know Eventually, maybe we'll have some like super produced record, and uh, I'm be in the uh, Billboard top ten or something someday. <laughs> That'll be the day. I think I've been writing, making up songs since I was six years old or something. Uh, uh, so. The songwriting's really come a long way over the years, especially since I got signed a few years ago. And you know, I I, I realized the benefit of having originals on your record rather than covers. <laughs> but uh, um, so you know, I've been writing a lot more songs uh, more frequently. One of the things that that happened to me, uh, I was involved in a big wreck about eight years ago, and while I was laying in the in the bed. On all the morphine and everything, I I, I realized, uh, oh man, I, I miss playing all those old rock songs. And I thought about in high school and college how I used to write, you know, three or four songs a week, uh, and they weren't always the best quality songs, and but they were like, and they were more punk rock usually. Um, and then I was getting, you know, one or two uh, country kind of songs a year, and so I decided I'm gonna go back to writing those old punk songs again. And, uh, and, uh, and and get that quantity, but also have those quality country songs. And then somewhere in the middle, I, uh, I put, I, I, it's all coming. I get spaces where I can't write at all, but 
uh, and I pull from from old things too, old songs from 15 years ago sometimes. But you know, it uh, sometimes they don't make sense. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they come to me in five five minutes. Those are the best ones. Well, I uh, I wrote uh, I started writing songs like I usually do when it was time to start writing songs for a new record. Um, I had plenty of songs. I, I had about six of them recorded. That that took me about six months. Uh, I I really picky and overcritical and re-record things over and over again. I mean, the first take was probably the best one. Um, and I, the my new management and my record label um, were saying it, it would be ideal for me to finish the record by June first. I come home from from Europe on. Uh, on uh, May 2nd and uh, I get up the next morning I already had those six songs I recorded one more seventh song I start looking through my computer and finding all these projects from the last three years of me just going in there at three o'clock in the morning and recording acoustic takes of things so that I wouldn't forget them because I just made them up and uh, within about uh, six or seven hours I had 23 songs for the record and I was like oh this is kind of a problem I don't know I know my label's not gonna want to put out a double record uh, and uh, so we we cut it down to 13 songs so a good half of the record is uh, is songs I wrote specifically for the record and another half of them are, are ones that I've taken from here and there different projects that I was doing in the last three years um, uh, Killed a Chicken Last Night on the record is is, is probably the oldest song uh, that I I recorded that about two or three years ago, but it, it just seemed like it fit. You know, like I said, I, I like to have all those different kinds of music that I play all on the one record, you know. I've had some critiques on, uh, uh, on the web or on, in newspapers uh, that, or art uh, magazines that say I suffer from... Uh, too much personality or something like that and uh, you know whatever that's what I do that's uh, you know um, better than no personality you know I wouldn't be here right now if I had no personality I've been playing guitar for 25 years now I've been writing songs for longer than that um, and uh, you know I I still I, I've gotten to the point where I've listened to so much of that old bluegrass and blues and stuff that uh I don't listen to it as much as I used to. Uh, I, I've heard so much of it, and I've, I, I've got so into it for so long, and I'm still really into it. It's just I've, I've heard it so much, so now I guess, uh, you know, I'm doing something with it a little more than, uh, than I was before. I, whereas before I was, I was uh, kind of mimicking different people and things like that. I think I've come into my own finally. Maybe I was always in my own. Maybe I haven't come into my own. I don't know. I'm a mess. <laughs> no, no. 